So our body is like the inner court and then the holy place is like your soul and then the holy of holies represents your spirit okay so we're going to talk about the holy of holies today and it represents your soul now your soul has three parts to it your your mind your will and your emotions and in the holy place there are three pieces to it there's the table of showbread there's the uh, altar of incense and there's the candlesticks now I think it's so cool that you know each part of the tabernacle represents a part of ourselves so because you know the Lord said that our body is the temple right or well, the tabernacle in this case we're talking about the tabernacle which is um, and we need to treat it as such so so let's get back to the soul so the first piece that you come to is the table of showbread and the table of showbread is a table with bread on it <laughs> and it represents strength and that represents your will and your will is has a lot to do with your strength now you may have heard about you know God's will you know a lot of people talk about oh, what, what's God's will you know um, but with our will we don't always hear a whole lot about it unless it's in the context of willpower a lot of people talk about oh I, I don't have enough willpower I need more willpower right so let me tell you about willpower let me tell you about the will now with your will it's your strength and this is this is why let's say um, I am going I'm I want to do something so if I really want to accomplish something I need to set it decide in my will what I'm gonna do it's like um, purpose it in my heart and in my mind and purpose it so that's you know your will what have you purposed in your heart to do and it is it's kind of like let's say I want to lay off the sweets and don't want to eat sugar I want to lose weight or something like that so if I don't really make a decision inside of myself that that you know that that's gonna happen I may show up to a barbecue and I haven't eaten all day and I show up to the barbecue and I'm starving and they have lots of goodies and temptations and I'm just gonna end up falling into that very easily because I haven't really made a decision in my will that this is what I'm gonna do but if I make a decision in my will to stay away from you know sugary junk food right then I'm going to take steps and actions to make that happen ahead of time I'm gonna prepare ahead of time so instead of just showing up to a barbecue with no thought about it I'm gonna think ahead of time and I'm gonna say okay I am going to eat something good at home first of all so I don't go there and I'm starving and then I'm going to maybe bring myself a healthy snack um, maybe a piece of fruit or something like that so when I show up to the barbecue it's gonna be a lot easier to say no to the junk food because I've always already purposed it in my heart and in my will I already made a decision in my will that this is what I want and this is what I'm gonna do so that's why they talk about the showbread being representing your strength because in your will that's where your 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 strength comes first of all it comes from God but it's 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 a strength in your decisions 
it's making that decision ahead of time. So what do we do as Christians? We surrender our will to the Lord. We make decisions based on His ways and His will. This is why in the Our Father prayer, we said, Lord, let your will be done in my life. You're surrendering your own ways and your own will to him and saying, I want to do it your way, Lord, because your way is better, because you know better, because you created me, right? So that's what the table of showbread represents. It represents your will. And when you make those decisions that I am going to follow God no matter what, I am going to do things His way, when you make those decisions ahead of time, then you can start to take steps and you can plan on, well, what am I going to do if this happens? Well, what would Jesus do? Well, what, you know, how am I going to handle this situation? You know, and you pray ahead of time. And he gives you that strength to carry out his will, uh, which is now your will. And he, you have to surrender that to him. And you have to accept his will in your life. So I hope you guys learned something today. I absolutely love talking with you. I love being able to teach you. And I just love you. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful day. The weather's gorgeous. Enjoy the sunshine. I love you all. I'll talk to you later.